TV6 exclusive from our Call 6 investigators. Police are searching tonight for more victims of a convicted child molester. Investigators opened the search after the man's ex-wife found pictures of young children victims police didn't know about when he was arrested in the past. Call 6 investigator Stephen Dean is back from Noblesville with the surprise evidence in this growing criminal case. When that child molester was originally arrested, police were told there may be other victims out there, but they could not find the evidence of it. Now the man's ex-wife says she's found that evidence as she was clearing out his belongings to divorce him. The discovery at this Noblesville farmhouse is now being examined by crimes against children detectives. This is where 28-year-old Brandon Hashey lived when he was arrested and sentenced mostly to probation for molesting a girl for years when she was between 8 and 12 years old. His ex-wife was then gathering his things for the divorce. She tells detectives she found a carefully sealed box marked Brandon's bedroom box, a yellow shoe box inside contained a 35 millimeter camera and roll after roll of undeveloped film. Investigators write in court papers it is believed to contain photos he took while assaulting children that police didn't know about when he was arrested last year. His ex brought the box straight to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office where detectives and prosecutors would not answer questions about how many new victims may be involved. Back at the home, the ex-wife also declared Declined to talk to us. Her new boyfriend told us her main concern is that he could get out again to harm even more children. Hashi's locked up, accused of violating terms of his four years on probation, his sentence from the original crime. A hearing is set for later this month where the judge could sentence him to six years in prison on that original crime, and police could file additional charges as they identify any potential new victims in those photos. In the newsroom, Stephen Dean, RTV6.